Hello, this is part two of our top priority summer series. Um, it's just a two-parter, but just like I said in the previous video, which by the way, if you haven't watched it, this video is probably not gonna make the most sense, but we will press on anyway. In the past video, I talked about how if you, you know where you wanna go, the best way to use your summer to maximize your summer season is to work, to get money, to start earning cash. And how I'm doing that and applying the principles I shared in the video is this summer, I'm working full time at a paid internship. <laughs> That's so helpful, super fortunate. And I basically used Ken Coleman's proximity principle for that one um, and Ken Coleman, Great guy, um, I'd love to meet him one day, but um, yeah, I'll put a link in the description of this video as well to his YouTube channel. Be sure to check out his stuff. It's very good for getting a job, whether it be summer or your career. But yeah, so I'm working that full-time internship, paid internship during the day. And then in the evenings, my plan is to work for the university's media department so i'm living on campus and as you can see it kind of does look like a dorm room i mean yeah <laughs> so um i'm here in the dorms but i'm able to uh, really lower my housing costs by living in the dorm and the at least at my university since i'm working for them i have the opportunity of getting a summer reimbursement more or less for the rent I pay for this dorm room. And so it comes out to like $300 a month, which, you know, that's pretty good rates as far as uh, Washington is concerned. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's why I'm doing working two jobs, one, to help me lower housing expenses and one to really bring in the cash. Uh, let's see, what else? What else am I doing to maximize this summer season? Oh, here's, here's another thing. So besides like producing video content for you guys, which I love doing, I wish I could do this all day, but you see these books, uh, maybe, no, like, yeah, these books. You see them, I love reading when I have like no stress and I'm able to just sit down and read a book. I wanna read about, maybe not all those books, but I'd like to read quite a few books this summer. And so that's, that's another way that I'm maximizing this season. I intend on taking a CLEP examination, which if you don't know what that is, if you just, you know, if you're like me, who graduated high school and like, clep, what's that? Is that like, clep your toenails <laughs> or what? But um, no, it's, it's an examination you can take to get college credit. And so instead of taking time out of your normal four years to get a degree, you can take an examination and have a certain amount of credits already given to you because you have that knowledge and it's a way of testing out of classes and so I, I think I have a microeconomics book up there and a linear algebra book and a couple of others that I'll be taking a look at studying up on and I don't know we'll see if how confident I am in those areas and we'll see if I can take a CLEP exam the only thing with CLEP CLEP exams though, is that they do cost a little bit of money. So I, I really wanna make sure that I'm solid in the material before I take that money and spend it on a CLEP exam. So anyway, that's what I'm doing um, for this summer. And yeah, it's, I hope you guys were encouraged, you know, to see like, oh, how's Jeff doing it, you know? Again, I just want to empower you guys and let you guys know that you're not doing this alone. 
this debt-free college thing can be done despite its uncommonality or maybe uh, it's got like an unconventionness to it, right? Um, but you're not alone. If I can do it, I'm sure you can because, <laughs> yeah, well, there's not enough time to go into all the details. If you want to know more or maybe try and figure it out yourself if you're one of those mystery types that likes to deduce and see, look for the clues like, oh, how is Jeff the, the like worst of the worst? And if he can do it, then I can do it. Watch my other videos, especially the one about me choosing to go debt free. Um, but yeah, I'll link that. I'll maybe put it here or I'll put it in the description. We'll see. But thank you all. Um, thank you all for watching this video. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. In previous videos, I forgot to say that, and as a consequence, some of y'all aren't receiving my videos, which is sad. I want to communicate with you guys, and you guys want to be notified of new videos. And so, yeah, remember to hit that notification bell. So anyway, thank you so much, and uh, that concludes part two of this video in the summer intensive. See you all later. Yeah.